Julian Timber and his family have organized a goodbye party for Julian Timber and they have officially said we will see you in the streets of London Sun. Welcome back to Cross Arsenal Podcast. My name is Kossi. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in all parts of the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is your Arsenal Transfer Roundup for the week. We're going to be diving into whatever has happened in the transfer world around us. There is so much to talk about in this week um, as compared to the previous weeks because we'll talk about the two medicals of Jalen Timber and Declan Rice. Kai Havers first training. We'll talk about the Kylian Mbappe saga, the Grand Jacker unveiling. Chuameni, Valvade, Romeo Lavia, Pate, and Florian Balogun as well. Hit the like button, subscribe to the podcast as well. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Gillian Timba is going to be shouting in, this, uh, in, the, in, in the streets of London. Now, let's start off with the Gillian Timba one because it's um, very interesting that um, they have actually done a party for him way back in the Netherlands. And this is the theme of the party, uh, Gillian uh, this is um Jurian's uh, goodbye party, right? And they have, they have also said, see you in the streets of London. That is the theme of the party uh, there in the Netherlands. Now, I want to inform you that um Jurian Timba did fly in initially uh, in, in, in London, did his medicals on Friday and Saturday, completed them, and then flew back to the Netherlands just to have um, a good time with his family, to say goodbye, to officially, um, probably, I don't know, get blessings, because for us here in, um, uh, in Africa, if you're going out, you definitely get the blessings of uh, uh, of, 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 of the parents and of, of, of your clan and, and, and whatever. So, Jelen Timba flew back to the Netherlands. That was on uh, yesterday, on Saturday. And this is what is happening. He's actually having a party, a farewell party, um, to say goodbye. Now, he did he did watch um, an Ajax game. I think it was an indoors game. Was it an indoors game, a uh, pre-season game for Ajax? He did watch, uh, he, he was present uh, to watch that game. He's a player that really has that close affiliation to the Netherlands because he's born there and that is his country uh, nation is a citizen of, of, of the Netherlands but again he's a player that has that real connection to Ajax now he has a twin brother by the way uh, also called Timba I think he plays for Feyenoord um, and for him it would be of course you know joining Arsenal unless it's going to be next summer I've not seen any interest from uh, from Arsenal in, um, in, in the second Timba but Timba is now an Arsenal player Fabrizio Romano has taken to his um to his Twitter, uh, to, his, to, to his Twitter handle, and he has actually said that Jelen Timba is an Arsenal player. Everything has been done, and he says it will be announced in the com- you know in the coming days. Um, so he's written and said Jelen Timba will be announced as a new Arsenal player in the coming days, as expected. Done deal between clubs. Same also on player side with documents signed and medical done. Time to celebrate with the family, and that is uh, the celebration ongoing for Julian Timber right there in the Netherlands. Very huge talent, very big prospect that Arsenal have signed. One player that I'm going to do multiple videos about in the coming days. Does he replace Gabriel? Yes. Does he replace Ben White? Yes. Can he compete with William Saliba? Yes. That is the profile of player we played, positionally versatile. Um, very talented, seen, I think, after Matthias Delit, he's seen one of, as one of those players that are going to rock it at centre-back and probably at, um, you know, and probably in a back three for the coming 10 years. Everyone who has spoken about him speaks of him as the uh, as the player who enables Ajax to play out from the back. He's, uh, they speak about him as a player who enables the Netherlands to, uh, to play out, of the, uh, out from the back. He's very confident. His passing range is absolutely lit and is a Mikel Arteta player. When I say he's a Mikel Arteta player, you know what I mean. So, Julian Timba this week, he completed his main course Friday, Saturday, flew back to the Netherlands for his party, which is ongoing right about now. We expect him, I don't expect him to fly back to London, but I expect him either to fly to, uh, to, to Germany where the team is right now as we prepare for that FC Nambag, um, uh, uh, you know, precision friendly. Or he might fly to the USA where we will play Man United, Barcelona and the, um, and the MLS All-Star team. So let's wait and see what's going to come out of there. But Timba 
is an Arsenal player. You know who else is an Arsenal player? It is Dekas Rice. Declan Rice today has also done his second part of the medicals. We'll be talking more about this one in the next video as I try to, you know, find much information because this uh, th this story I've just included in my uh, write up. I just I, I didn't really have um, uh, it on, on on my on my transfer weekend transfer roundup. But what I had is that Rice did also arrive at Arsenal on Friday. He had his first part of the medicals on the same day at Jill and Timber. But of course, yesterday he did have his second part of the medicals, and we believe he's actually completed his medicals today. He will be announced as an Arsenal player as well. Documents sealed. And signed between clubs they are also sealed and signed uh, between us and the player we are just waiting for Declan Rice to get that shirt number 40, 41 um, raise it and then probably fly to Germany as well or fly to the USA I reckon and I really think that uh, Rice will fly to the USA Timber could fly to Germany because our next game in preseason comes on the 13th of this month. So there, there, there is some time. I mean, like four days? Is it four days um, for us to... Uh, for, for the two players to join up uh, with the squad. They might not play in that game. We could see Timber play uh, in the game against maybe Man United. And then we could see Rice's debut against uh, maybe FC Barcelona, right? Uh, but um, uh, Rice's medical also completed as well so me two medicals done timber has now just announced that he's also an arsenal player welcome to arsenal both rice and Julian uh timber right now if this video gets to 500 likes i will but i've already ordered my jerseys but i will have shirt number 41 at the back of my home jersey next season and of course i will unveil it we will be doing our uh you know our uh you know kit review so i will unveil the jerseys so if this video gets 500 likes i will do rice at the back of my home shot and timber at the back of our third kit i've told you i don't have any plans of wearing that second kit i don't have that any plans of buying it but just for purposes of review i will buy it and that's it i'll give it away okay but anyway that is um uh, th that is the update on timber and declan rice still in this week uh, kai harvest was um uh, you know appeared at arsenal for his first training we saw the pictures yesterday he was absolutely smart like he's tall handsome it just looks you know it just look it looks good in pictures you know who doesn't look good in pictures Saka. like Absolutely. Saka never looks good in pictures. But uh, Kai Havers was really smart uh, in his um, Arsenal training kit. Um, I can't wait to see him on the pitch in the full Arsenal jersey. Probably it's going to be very, very uh, amazing. So he, he had his first training yesterday with Arsenal. Um, and I think after that, we are, uh, we're going to see him more and more and more in an Arsenal jersey. So Rice, Timber and Kai Havers... We don't expect any failed medicals and we don't expect any deals to be hijacked at a, at this point in time right now the next big one has been grand jacker this week grand jacker has been unveiled as a new baliver cousin player hearts uh, you know a little bit uh, to say it because he's been here for seven years you know seven years is if, if you take seven years of my life i it's it's such a very significant part of my life and the last seven years have been really significant uh, in my quest to become a, a staunch Arsenal supporter and then also a content creator as well. So, um, Jaka, during those seven years, he has been an Arsenal player. And the Arsenal I know is the Arsenal where Jaka is present, right? Uh, but to be honest, Jaka has also left the club. He's gone to Balevacuzan, shot number 34. Arsenal have managed to recoup about uh, about 25 million euros okay initially we had bought him at we bought him at 45 million euros from Borussia Mönchengladbach and after seven years for us to get above half of that we've actually done very very well farewell to Jaka Thomas players like Thomas Pate players like William Saliba uh, took their took their Instagram and Twitter accounts saying that he was a leader and they are actually going to miss him very much. To be honest, I won't miss Granny Jaka, but I'll say that um, he was a good player. I don't think he was trash. I don't think he was exceptional, but he was 
a good player okay um now this week let's talk you know talking about the rumors and talking about players linked with arsenal the saga of Kylian mbappe has been catching up hotting up and down we've talked about mbappe on this channel for uh, on multiple occasions and especially this week where arsenal have been dubbed the preferred destination of Kylian mbappe should he decide to join uh, you know the premier league now Yes, uh, I do believe in um, Miguel Delany. He's a very, very good guy, informed as well. He says that Arsenal is um, a very attractive project to kill Mbappe. And Chel Henry has also done some work in terms of attracting him to the club. I understand all that. But Kill Mbappe has set his sights and eyes on Real Madrid. That is where he wants to be. That is the kind of um, project he wants to join. And he already has a, you know, um, a pre-agreement in place. So I don't expect him to be flirting with Arsenal. Like, I just do not. Maybe this is PSG trying to hype, hype, bring in the hype, trying to show to Real Madrid that, hey, you're not the only club that can interest Kylian Mbappe. Arsenal having a very great thing going on can also interest him. They're back in the UCL and they have bigger chances of winning the UCL than not Madrid, of course. Madrid have a bigger chance than, to win it than us. But we have a bigger chance to win it than PSG. Like, yeah, right? So Kylian Mbappe in this week has been all over uh, the media when it comes to links with Arsenal. And my thoughts on that one are very clear. I don't think Arsenal are really interested in Kylian Mbappe. I don't think Kylian Mbappe is interested in Arsenal. Someone is trying to play uh, some games. He's trying to play with the Matrix. And I still think Kylian Mbappe will end up in Spain. And I really want him to end up in, uh, at, in, in Spain if he doesn't end up at Arsenal. I mean, the, the trouble of Mbappe versus Haaland at the expense of... Um, uh, uh, you know, at the expense of... Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, Newcastle suffering. Just imagine Kylian Mbappe at either Man United or Chelsea and then, um, you know, Manchester City having Erling Haaland. This might become a two-horse race uh, of a league. I don't want that. I prefer to have the Premier League the way it is now. Arsenal can go and sign a 100 million player and become threatening. Manchester City will sign a 100 million euro, uh, Gosco Givadio, and they will stay a threat. I prefer the Premier League the way it is now. Just give us some peace, to be honest. Now, um, in the other rumors, let's start with uh, Thomas Partey, because Thomas Partey today has taken to his social media handle, and he has actually posted, it. I will miss seeing you around Granny Jacker. You are my brother. Goodbye. So it looks like Thomas Partey is thinking about staying at Arsenal and is set to stay at the club. That is one of the best decisions that has happened at Arsenal in this summer. Like we've done so many decisions, signing Timber, signing Harvest, signing Rice, um, letting go of uh, Ainsley Martin Nows. There's so many decisions that Arsenal has, met, have, 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 has got right. But keeping Thomas Partey, cajoling him, enticing him, to stay is going to be one of the most important decisions next season. Like, you want your Thomas Partey there. You want to have a player as solid, as intelligent, as technical, and as experienced as Thomas Partey in that midfield. And of course, with Thomas Partey, it allows us to play in so many options. We can have Partey, Rice, and Kai Havers in that midfield. We can have Partey, Rice, Kai Havers, and Odegaard in midfield. We can play Kai Havers up the top with Thomas Partey in midfield together with Deckers. Or you can simply play Partey, Rice, and Odegaard. So it's a very, it's a very brief decision from Mikel Arteta, and it would be a very brief decision from Th Thomas Partey, especially seeing Declan Rice arriving at the club. He will have so many questions in his head. They've brought a player who is maybe much better than me, oh, and, and they've also brought in a player who is who has cost almost twice as much as um, I cost way back in 2020, uh, 21 in the summer. Do I have a place at Arsenal? Probably not. But I don't see Thomas Partey as a player who'd actually, you know, struggle to sit on the bench and play in the UCL, play in the uh, FA Cup and also, you know, some games in the Premier League. I think it's very, very evident that Partey needs to divide that workload. He needs to divide the game time. Okay, he's not a player to play for you 38 games, but he's a player to give you 15 to 25 quality. And when I say quality, 
in regards to Thomas Partey, you can ask Paul Pogba. So, P Thomas Partey looks likely to stay at Arsenal. That is a positive. Florian Bellegan this week has been flirting with Chelsea. He's flirting with Chelsea. He's in talks to sign for Chelsea. And I've already done a separate video on that one. And I said we can't allow that to happen. There are things that I'm okay with. Like, we can sell Cedric Suarez to Chelsea. We can sell Nicola Pepe to Chelsea. I'm okay with that. We've always exchanged players uh, with Chelsea. And apart from Ashley Cole, the rest of the players we, are, you know, we, we exchange with Chelsea are players that are either you know, failed, just like David Lewis, or players in the evening years, like Olivier Giroud. I, don't, I do not expect Florian Balogun at 22 to be making the switch from Arsenal to Chelsea. But this week... Chelsea have contacted uh, the agents and the uh, representatives of the player. They would love to sign him. Romeo Lavia in this week has also been a very, hot, a very hot topic. With Liverpool entering the rest last week, this week Liverpool have told Southampton we would love to sign him. Klopp, Klopp, Klopp is actually pushing for the signing of the young midfielder. However, there is something to catch on this one. Arsenal and Liverpool will not pay the 50 million as they think it is actually very, very high. Fede Valverde and Orlen Chouameni have also been linked with the club as well in this week. We've done a video uh, separately on Chouameni. I've also done a video on uh, both of them, Valverde and Chouameni. And in my opinion and my thoughts, I think Chouameni won't sign for Arsenal. I think Valverde is a much better deal. Valverde is a much better player, and I won't be surprised if Arsenal eventually end up signing a player, the profile of Valverde, right? But at the moment, nothing concrete, just interest. Arsenal this week have also held talks with Balevacuzen over the signing of their right back, uh, you know, in, in, uh, over their Dutch right back, that is Jeremy Frimpong, but nothing is advanced in that deal as of yet. That is my transfer roundup. That is, the, uh, that is what has actually happened throughout the week. Obviously, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to do a video about Declan Rice and Gillian Timber. See you very, very soon.